good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you're looking at this PowerPoint. This is Holy Week. Uh, we will have a PowerPoint today, Monday, a PowerPoint Tuesday, PowerPoint Wednesday, and a PowerPoint Thursday. We will have uh, questions to answer Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, so I won't give you questions to answer on Thursday. So guys, um, and I hope I remember to do that. It's Holy Week, and yesterday was Palm Sunday. So, you know, we've been doing some uh, pretty neat work in the Bible, you know, and we talked about the kings of Israel, three major kings. And we're going to, to change our direction a little bit and talk about Palm Sunday. So... If we hadn't had this virus, you would have went to church yesterday, and Palm Sunday is always the Sunday before Easter. It's sometimes referred to as Passion Sunday, as well as Palm Sunday, because we read the Passion of Christ uh, during the Gospel. So, Jesus rides in on a donkey. You may have wondered why Jesus rides in on a donkey. In Matthew's Gospel, uh, there's a donkey with a colt, a fold. And so uh, Jesus comes with both of these animals. Uh, the donkey was a symbol of peace. So when a king rode into Jerusalem on a horse, it was a symbol of war. When a king rode in on a donkey, it was a symbol of peace. Um, the as Jesus is coming into Jerusalem, the people put their cloaks on the ground in front of the donkey. Uh, this is a Near Eastern tradition. If you don't know what, what Near Eastern is, that would be like Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Lebanon, those areas, okay? We call that the Near East. That was a tr tradition for whenever a king entered the city. That, that was your submission, that you would throw your cloak on the ground in front of the horse or donkey or whatever he was riding on as a, a as a, a thing of submission um, and um, it was done if you want to look it up in the Bible I believe it's Levitic not uh, Leviticus uh, Zechariah where Jehoshaphat rides into the city of Jerusalem and people throw their cloaks down on the ground uh, people cut branches and placed them on the road. Um, only John specifies Psalms. Now remember, John is the last gospel written. Um, the, the, uh, did I say Psalms? I meant palms. The palms, the palm was a Roman symbol of peace. So people would have that embroidered on their togas, or they would actually wear palm on their toga. To symbolize that they were a person of peace. Biblically, biblically <laughs> disciples find a donkey for Jesus to ride. In Matthew's gospel, he says, look, if anybody accosts you, tell them the master needs it. Um, but no one asked them in uh, Matthew's gospel. I believe in Mark's gospel, they do. And um, so even if they did that, the disciples offer no explanation. They're borrowing the donkey because the ki because of the king. Remember when we talked about David, um, and they were asking Samuel for a king. He said, "Well, you know, the king can request anything from you." And so Jesus, being the king, an explanation's not needed. Okay, uh, Jesus enters the city triumphant. Uh, I believe it's in Mark's gospel. The priests tell Jesus to. Tell the crowd to hush up, to be quiet. And he says even the stones would cry out if if uh, they did not. And then uh, they say Hosanna in the highest. And Hosanna in the highest means, Hosanna means help I pray. Okay? And the whole city was shaken because they want to know who Jesus was. Liturgically, Palm Sunday, palms are blessed and distributed. So you would come into church, either the palms would already be blessed, or if it was the first mass, palms were going to be blessed. The, the palms are usually placed near an entranceway 
near a cross or a religious picture. So when you take the palm home, you put it above your doorway. That's what I was always taught because the cross is there, but some people put it next to their religious picture. The passion is read as the gospel. This year it would have been Matthew. And then Hosea in the highest is a blessing. And we have that on the side. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. So have a great day. We'll be talking about Holy Week all week long. So tomorrow, tune in. Don't forget to answer your questions and send them to cbaldwin at sacbstx.org. Guys are doing a wonderful job. Remember, everybody has to look at this. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Thanks. Bye-bye.